We're here at the British Museum looking at a porcelain piece from the Ming Dynasty, from the Qinghua to Zhengde periods, from the years 1465 to 1521. So, Jordan, tell us about this piece. Well, at first glance, it seems, you know, very only Asian. But then if you look at the inscriptions, it's actually Arabic. It's from the Quran. How fascinating. Perhaps, so, perhaps the tablet was positioned at, as a focus for prayer from Muslims at the Zingji court. Oh, uh, yes. And formally, let's look at these geometric shapes. So on the outside, we have a large square. Then we have a diamond shape inscribed within a circle with lots of floral motifs on the side. So we see these floral vines and lots of uh, other Chinese pottery and porcelain, but especially when it comes to Arabic and Muslim art, we like this vegetation and uh, vegetal motifs. Speak more about that. Well, it seems like the motifs are very Arabic as well as those detailed motifs are used with throughout uh, mosques. And so the cross-cultural um, the cross-cultural aspects. aspects, thank you, of this piece is extremely interesting that there's verses and motifs from uh, Arabic from Muslims on a Asian piece, East Asian piece. Clearly, at first glance, you are enticed by the jade song with the square at the top and the, and the background of the circle and the symmetrical Very true. floral design really pierces your heart. Now, and, yeah. What was the artist trying to do? All of these shapes, the square in the middle of the circle and the outer square and rectangles, they're all double lined. Why would the artist use double lines and not single lines when usually everything's very flowy and elegant when you see in these porcelain pieces, but this is very rigid, rigid and structured. Why is that? I think that's where the cross-cultural aspect comes in. Um, you know, the artist is adding his Asian uh, culture to the piece. I think that's where you get the double lines. So. Yeah. Doo -doo. Doo -doo.